<laughs> what's going on everyone thanks for checking out another of my videos out here in beautiful bodega bay got adam diehard fish with me today and we got the big toys we're going for tuna that's right check out this water can you see how blue that is oh my gosh so we're like 35 miles out from the launch right now we got water that's 62 degrees a little above that we're going for albacore first we have stuff for bluefin tuna so we'll see if we see anything out here jumping like that hopefully we can get on some albacore um we're kind of by some big reefs for some big link on r2 so maybe that's in the works for today i don't know but we're looking for some big fish today that's the plan excited to be out here fishing with uh adam diehard fishy like i said earlier if you guys haven't checked out his youtube he catches big fish so we're trying to add to that today huh adam hope so all right that's the gear for it that's right so he's getting us set up right now i'll show you what we're doing but we got some hand lines a bunch of uh, pit bull tackle stuff put all these are right here so getting geared up excited to get these lines down and see if we can get a tuna so all the reels we'll be using today are from uh, Akuma, the Makaras. We got 15, 20, that's what this is, and then also 30s with us. So one of the first ones I'm putting on here is a cedar plug. If you're not familiar with albacore fishing, this is one of the most popular lures. I want to say like worldwide, it's pretty funny. It's just a piece of wood with a metal head. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw one of those on. When I went last year, this worked well. So these are the, the rigs we're using. They're from Pitbull Tackle. Um, you pick one of, like I guess it's a drone, different colors, zucchini, Mexican flag, white, those all work well. And then you get the albacore uh, tuna trolling rig. And then you just go ahead and feed that through there and then make up something that looks like this. So those two pieces are how we ended up with this rig right here. But there's a tuna boat. It's so much bigger than our boat, Adam. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, well, we got 150 pounds of ice in our kill bag. A lot of ice needed for these uh, tuna. Okay, we're gonna get started here. So I'm gonna be driving the boat about eh, eight miles per hour. Adam's gonna start dropping the, right, the lines back and spacing them out. Time to sit back and relax and wait to hear the scream of the reel. That's what we're gonna hope for. Uh, gotta be patient, gotta not think about it. It's kind of the tricks I've learned. Uh, so yeah, so let's go eat some food, talk, chat. Hopefully we're back with the screaming rod here soon. That's the view from sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, nothing to report yet. Been slow, sounds slow on the radio. Uh, we've been in this for a good hour and a half now. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat some tuna. Let's try and become one with the tuna. Hopefully we catch a tuna. Come on, real, start screaming. First fishy spot. Bunch of dolphins hoping to see some tuna in there. All right, well, as you can see, we're pulling up the albacore rigs. Nothing. We put in a good effort, trolled for our over three hours, probably closer to four uh not even a bite so kind of as we were showing there's a lot of dolphins sea lions birds in this area maybe there's some bluefin tuna below it um so we'll go ahead and put some mad max on uh, put the makaira 30 reels out from akuma a little bit bigger gear uh 
uh, we're in like 62, 63 degree water. Go ahead and throw some of these on so you have some bluefin are in the area. That's what we're seeing right now. Hopefully there's some bluefin tuna below these dolphins. We haven't seen one jump, but like Adam, I, Adam said, you know, if the bluefin were jumping in there, I don't even know if we'd be able to tell them apart. I'm kind of excited right now. First time on my boat fishing for bluefin tuna. So we're fishing for bigger fish now. Because of that, I don't trust my rod holders. So I'm using my tower, I have a rod on either side. Normally where like a net would go. Let's see if we can make something happen. This is what I have. I was going to see if these things work. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Big so we're putting on this Pitbull Tackle Diamond Jig, 16 ounce. We are 320 feet of water. <laughs> Funny, huh? <laughs> it's definitely like the heaviest gear I've ever used for uh, some rockfish fishing. But crap, it's 320 feet, so kind of need it. Because of the previous depth restriction, people haven't fished these areas in, I think it's 19 years. So for that reason, there's a lot of big fish out here. Oh, hit bottom. Not something. Get some? Thought so. I would hate to reel it up and not. Yeah. Oh, if I didn't, I did. Well, yeah, there's something on there. I think it's a linger rockfish. No mine. Oh, nice firm. Yeah. Nice vermilion. Wow, huh? <laughs> that thing's pretty crazy, huh? It's a nice fish. Last time mine hit the bottom and I had a fish on. I wonder if that's gonna happen again. Oh, bottom. Oh, fish on. <laughs> yeah. You can use this, see what I'm doing? Yeah. I don't even think I want to eat this thing. What do I do? That's oh, not going to swim down, is it? No. Give him a chance. Oh, no, that's a huge canary, right? Wow. Look at that. 
That's huge. <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, this canary is huge. Huge. I could have like a hitchhiker here towards the end because mine got a lot heavier, I feel like. Just another canary. Jesus. We're in the canary spot, huh? So I'm just dropping down right now. Trying to get a link cod. It's been pretty tough. I don't know why we haven't got a link cod yet. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh that's a better fish. Go ahead and reel this one up. I'll let you guys know. I was just on an Akuma trip. Went down out of Long Beach. I got some Bonito. A few people got some Yellowtail. We were fly lining with sardines. So I'll go ahead and show you some of that footage here. Uh, while I reel up this fish 300 feet, and we'll see what it is. So this is from middle of August, got invited from Akuma to join them on the El Dorado in Long Beach, California, on the boat with some other YouTubers and Akuma staff members. We fished San Clemente Island. Um, as you can see here, we're using live sardines for bait. We're trying to get um, yellowtail. Unfortunately, I didn't get one on the day, but I did hook up with some bonito. And uh, here's some footage of that right here. Oh, that boil? yeah, that was a boil. That looks decent too. Uh, there's bait jumping there right now. Oh, here we go. It's me. There you go. There we go. There you go, flower. Yeah. Black sea bass, right? You can keep those? Nah, they're protected. They look good. You get like 300 pounds. But this thing's like 100 pounds, I think. Bigger. Everyone's got to see this thing. Look at the giant size of this pet. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa. Right. Holy cow. Alright. That's what we got. Giant Picaccio. Maybe he did the link. Not a huge one now, but super. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I got him. <laughs> we got one. Not a huge one. Good but, job, uh, Adam. Keeper nonetheless. We worked hard for that link cod. <laughs> Hopefully, Adam has fish of the day on right now. Ooh, barely hooked. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. That's more what we came for. Yeah, Look at that hook job. Uh, wow. 30, yeah, 30 for sure. 32 maybe. For sure in the 30s. 
I'm really gaffing those heads good, aren't I? That's oh, just a fatty, 21 inch. That's that's good. We'll take it. My personal best is 34. I've caught in two 34 inchers. Yeah, that's all over. Nice. Well, we got some really nice rockfish. Huge link cod. I mean, check out those fish. We could have kept a lot more, but. We really didn't want to uh, bring back rockfish to freeze, just so we want to eat fresh. So that's what we got there. Uh, no tuna today, as you guys saw. Keep an eye out for a video with me catching some albacore bluefin tuna. It's going to happen soon. After trying today and, and failing, I need to get back out there and get one. It's fun. It just gives you that excitement. Trolling fast, waiting for the line to peel. Didn't happen. It'll happen soon, though. So, uh, yeah, keep checking out for that video. Fun fish with you today, Adam. Thanks for taking me. He got the two uh, link call on the big one, so good for him. Fun day out here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, later, guys.